I wonder what I should do today. Should I start a school of dragons role play, Roblox, Minecraft, or Spogon? Or I could just do a quick five minute tutorial. That will probably end up turning into ten minutes. So let's get into it. The tutorial is going to be how to download mods for Minecraft. So there's two ways or two like things to do it. So the first is Technic Watcher blah blah blah. So you just uh go to this link. I will hopefully leave it down below in the description if I remember. And you s okay. Get click get launcher. And then it says I already have it, it should pop up with something. Okay, this will pop up. You scroll to a bar, you select which one you have. I have a window, so you click on that. Then what you do is click save when the thing pops up down here. And then view downloads or open folder. And then, uh, it should, if we come over here. Oh, that is the wrong one. I am in the middle of recording a new dry against video, which this is probably going to upload before that. Oh, excuse me. But we scroll down, we come to downloads, it will be right here somewhere. It should look something like this. You just drag it out to your desktop and then double click on it. And it should come up with blah 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 until you like sign up and stuff. I have it so it remembers me because I don't want to sign it every single time. Uh, but it should pop up and pretty much all you do there is enter your Minecraft password. Yeah, the email you use for your Minecraft. It should log you in. Now, after that, just click on Mod Packs. And then just search, like, anything you want. Like, they might not have stuff for every single thing you want, but that's where I got the Wicked Land. If you just search up there, so it pops up. Second one. Uh, Pixel Mod. I'm pretty sure there's lots of Pixel Mod ones. And after you see the one you want, just click Install. Takes a bit. And then you could play it, and if you do it, if you typed up here, it should be down here. You click it, click play, boom, it. Here, I'll show you guys. Uh. Well, it's up Minecraft for you. Subtime. Don't know when. Whatever it decides to. And it should be loading at Minecraft. And if it's working, you should see this little anvil thing pounding on. To me, that looks like iron. To you guys, it could look like gold. Uh, it, but it's a hammer pounding. Like, it, depending on what version it is on, it will change how the anvil looks. This is 1.12.2, so it looks like this. 1.7, 1.10, I think look a little less, like, detailed. And they don't give off that sparks. Yeah, boom! It just loads you up. Sometimes it starts you off with servers. This is the one the complex gaming one starts you off with. Uh, this is a decent way to install bots. You can't really add bots, or I don't know how to do that yet. To mess around with this, you can start single player. But say I load up something else. Oh, when you quit, it loads this back up. But like, say I play another pack, it. Does it have the solo player worlds or the servers on the other one? But if you do go back to the other one, it will save all of that. It's just, in my opinion, a really organized way to do stuff. And then the second way, uh, come over here. And I have it favorited. I do recommend that. Uh, go to Minecraft 6, I believe. And... Oops, let me go to that real quick. Uh, Minecraft 6. Uh, up here you can choose mods, resource packs, texture packs, maps, anything you want, and the version. Uh, 1.7 is almost off the chart, so you probably will have to use Curse Forge from now on, not this, if you want 1.7 or below. Uh, but just go, yeah, I'm just going to download something to show you guys, so... Uh, Optifine is a decently hard one to install, so I'll show you guys like a couple ways to install. 
Now, if there's any ads, guys, just ignore them if they're inappropriate or anything. Just click download. This is why I'm showing you this one because it's harder than ours. Click download Optifine. Just click save. Oh, my, my vision and seems to it, be failing ignore me. this. It, Are like, you a boy or a girl? Like here, let's try it out all the way down. Ignore ads like this and then wait until the security scan is done. If it takes a while to do that or it does that, just go back and re-download it. Click save, save, and then should go a bit faster. Boom. And that just does it sometimes. Also, that's the Optify one. Some of them are a bit different, so it's going to be hard for me to like show you all the different versions. But all of them are like decently easy. This one, uh, just come down here. You will need like some of them. You will need LL library or like bots required to run it. It normally says it right here. If it doesn't say it right here, uh. It says something when you load up your Minecraft with the mods. So, right here, just click that, and it should bring you to a link to download that. And then just save as the I will accept that it's quicker, I believe. But yeah, if this happens, just uh, either search up for the forums or click this download, which will download the latest version. Uh, and this, click that. And in this case, it brought me to this. Just click the version you need and go through the same process as the other ones, except some of them don't have ads, blah, blah, blah. And so now, uh, hopefully I should put the link for all of these in the description. Hopefully if I remember. Uh, let's come to Minecraft 6 again so I can link it in the description. And if we come over here, just come over to Curse Forge. I have this set on 1.7, so if I put this exact link in the description, uh, it will be automatically set on 1.7, so just switch it around to whatever version you need, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but for these, uh, I suggest using Minecraft 6, so if you can't find the mod that you want on there, come over to Curse. And then just click on whichever one you want. And... There is a download which will download the latest, but if you want something besides the latest, click on files. And it will just show you all the files of it. And this one, for example, is really popular, so it has a different version and stuff. And here's all the way back to 1.8. Uh, and then there's a second version of this one called Not Enough Items. That's for 1.7 and under. Uh, but after you download your mods, go back hopefully I will leave all these links in the description after you've downloaded your mods uh, go into your file folder and then oh let me drag this into view click on downloads and just find the mod you had and drag it out where did it at? I don't need it and I already got mods in my mod folder. You guys won't if you've never done it before. And then come down here and search percent update uh, percent. This is the quickest way to access your mods bowl. Click on dot Minecraft, scroll down, it should be somewhere down here. Click mods. Now I already have this stuff from uh, the, the 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 thing I'm doing, but just click it, drag it there, and uh, I will show you how to get Curse Forge right now. Well, not Curse Forge. Minecraft Forge right now. So, I believe if you search up Minecraft Forge. Oh, spelled it correctly. Come to one of these. Oh, nope. Okay. Come to, I think it's the first link. Yes, it is. Uh, select your version. And then these, you could just click the plus and it shows you blah blah blah. And then, uh, I would go download latest, but you could go ear. Download latest is what I use, I believe. Uh, and then click what you have. I have Windows, so I would click Windows. And click Windows. Well, I would click Windows. Yeah, good. I don't know what you guys have. 
So what you want to do is ignore all of this stuff and press skip in the upper uh, right, left, right, uh, press save, click view downloads, and after that, probably best to click out of that ASAP, and then go into your downloads, and here's the one I just downloaded, click on it, and if you're still playing, click OK, installs it. Uh, but you can't have multiple versions of Forages running at one time. So, uh, I already have one right. You would have to delete the one that you have in order to get, like, a second version, even if there are different versions. So, that's pretty much how to do it. If you load up your Minecraft, it should be good. You should see an anvil. Hopefully you see an anvil. If you don't see an anvil... I don't know what to tell you guys, but this, these methods have worked very efficiently for me so far. I'm hoping they work for you guys. I'm on Windows 10 right now, so I, if, I don't know if these methods work on anything else. I think they do, I believe they do. Uh, but this is my first tutorial and my craft screen is loading up. Should show the air villain here. Uh, but those are the methods I use. Uh, leave in the comments down below any other tutorials that you want to see me make. I'm very bad with this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm surprised I even got this stuff working in the first place. Sometimes it doesn't show it, but there's normally an apple down here. Yeah. Uh, I am very bad with downloading stuff, so I'm very surprised I got this stuff to work in the first place. Uh, but let's close. Of this, uh, this Minecraft watcher is going to be very bad. I come down here and close out of it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that should wrap it up for the video, right? Okay, there it goes. Bye bye. That should wrap it up for the video right now. Uh, uh, hopefully, I can show you guys more stuff in the future that you guys want to see. And I guess I see Fox out. Oh.